So, uh, is anybody else Hershey Park happy today? Hello, 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 and we are here at the sweetest place on earth, Hershey Park. So, what are we doing here today? Are we shooting a Let's Play or a merch video? No, actually, a couple of days ago, a couple of weeks ago, actually, I got people that were asking, hey, you know what? Do you actually enjoy the parks, or do you just film the parks? And I'm sad to say, in 2023, uh, mostly I was just filming the parks. So, uh, last week I went to Busch Gardens Williamsburg, had a great time there, did not film a thing. So here today, we're just going to do a day at Hershey Park. I just came in. It's Labor Day weekend. We're right here in front of the, uh, the Kiss uh, Fountain here. Candemonium's going up here. And today this video is just, what am I going to do on a beautiful day at Hershey Park? Um, pretty much, I'm going to go through everything we do here. Now, why did I pick today Labor Day? Well, you know what? Hershey Park actually did a thing called a loyalty program. I got all six levels. And you know what that did? That gave me a fast pass for the entire day. So today we are going to be doing a lot of coasters and a lot of chocolate. And to be honest with you, it's going to be mostly coasters. But here's a little game we can play here. If you, at the end of this video, can count how many times I rode a roller coaster. Not how many different coasters, but how many. So this is Candemonium coming by. And, uh, you know, how many rides do I get? You win a prize. Now, of course, what is that prize? I have no clue what that prize is going to be. We're going to figure that out at the end of the video. We're going to buy something at the Hershey Park Supply Company. But you know what? Uh, I don't know what it's going to be, but I can tell it's not going to be a keychain. It's not going to be a magnet. It's going to be something pretty cool. So stick through the entire video. We're going to go through the entire day at Hershey Park here today. Uh, but now I'm off to the HP Go section to uh, pretty much cash in this Fast Pass. So does anybody else find it ironic? that there's no fast pass for the line that gives you the fast pass. So uh, it doesn't look too bad here at the HP Go. Right there's the, the kisses and stuff like that. There we got the Jolly Rancher out, the chocolate bar. But yeah, so this is the HP Go Plus and hopefully the fast pass line is going to be pretty short. So I've been coming to Hershey Park for 40 years and this is the first time I got one of these. So uh, you know what, usually I head to the back of the park, but you know what? It's right here. I'm going to test this bad boy out on Candemonium. All right, so many of you guys know that I am a coaster enthusiast, but also get motion sickness here. So, of course, before I get on Candemonium, I got to put on the relief band here. Now, this is not a paid advertisement. Uh, I don't get paid at all, but I can honestly say that uh, for me, motion sickness-wise, this relief band is a dream come true. And uh, depending on the coaster, I always adjust uh, the... Uh, the uh, intensity it goes up to six Alpengeist uh, the last couple times has been about five uh, but Candy I'm gonna start me off at a three here but uh, getting ready to jump on this here might do a couple uh, at the end of this I will let you know how many rides I've got on this uh, so if you're keeping track you'll get a chance to win that door prize exciting all right, so just off Candemonium. Uh, this patch is a little bit slow there, but uh, that was one ride on Candemonium. So now I'm going to head to the back of the park because, let's be honest, you know I am here for Wildcat's Revenge. Uh, but along the way, I'm going to grab some drinks and stuff like that. But before we, because uh, since we have a long walk here, I might as well let you guys know that we are now doing our podcast, the Trim the Stable podcast, is actually now going to be live at 7 p.m. on Tuesdays. Every Tuesday at 7 p.m., on Facebook or Instagram or X, I think it's Twitter's X now, and of course, a uh, YouTube channel. We are going to be doing the uh, podcast, the Trim Civil Podcast, live at 7 p.m. So definitely check it out. Uh, we already have the first one scheduled, and uh, we're kicking that off. And uh, we're going to have, uh, of course, you know, guest people and all that kind of stuff there. Uh, other YouTube channels are going to be doing some uh, merging and stuff, but definitely make sure you check that out. and. I'm gonna do the long walk all the way to the back of the park to get to Wildcat's Revenge. All right, as we make our way to the uh, Wildcat's Revenge here, here is the boardwalk. Now, I usually don't do the boardwalk ever, but um, I was thinking that my uh, pass that I got there for uh, the um, loyalty thing there was gonna work, but 
It actually is only good for dry rides. So pretty much, I don't know if I'm gonna go do it because I do want to get on Breaker's Edge, but if the Fast Pass doesn't work for Breaker's Edge, I don't really see the point of uh, waiting a line for an hour, hour and a half there just to uh, ride that. So but I am on my way to Wildcats Revenge and I'm very thrilled about that. I love that ride. It's great having an RMC in my backyard. But here we are, it's kind of desolate back here because I'm pretty sure everybody's going to be in the water park today. It's already almost 90 and it's like 10.30. Wow, it is like night and day. Um, there's a lot of people here today because it is uh, Labor Day weekend, but coming out here to Wildcats Revenge, not as many people, it's kind of dead. Now, of course, it's a hot day, so I know a lot of are going to be at the uh, boardwalk, but really, all in all, um, pretty dead back here, so I'm hoping to get uh, four or five rides on uh, Wildcats Revenge before I uh, grab lunch and stuff, so. Now, have you ridden Wildcats Revenge? How's that ranking for you there? Let us know in the comments section. All right, so I know people always talk about having a Six Flags Day, but to be honest with you, Hershey's uh, having a rough one today. Uh, it's the Sunday of Labor Day, and the number one attraction, Wildcats Revenge, is actually down. So hopefully that all uh, works out there, but uh, since I'm in the back of the park, I guess I'm gonna go hit uh, Lightning Racer and uh, Wild Mouse. All right, well, so we're over here at the Midway America section here. And uh, now what's going on out here, actually? Uh, kind of dead. Uh, I was able to get on Wild Mouse. I was able to get on Laugh Track, which is something I never do. Uh, and then also, uh, Lightning was going, but not Thunder. So I'm wondering if they're uh, doing some retracking here of uh, Lightning Racer. Uh, but it's kind of weird because there's like nobody over here. There's a uh, temporary out of service here with the Music Express. And of course, we all know the whip has pretty much been gone. So there's not much going on out here uh, in Midway America, especially when you uh, don't have the the big boy Wildcats Revenge going. So um, probably going ahead and get some food there. But one thing I definitely know about uh, that's coming up here, and we're actually going to be doing videos on it, is this is anti mortems a baiter, I guess it, but uh, it is getting to be uh, time for the uh, Dark Knights at Hershey Park, the second year of it. So this is uh, pretty much it was the whip, but now it looks like it's going to be a haunt house. Uh, all the different things here with the decorations, but so that's going to be starting in uh, about two or three weeks. But uh, right now I'm going to go find something to eat there over by the food courts and uh, you know, cross my fingers because uh, so far we've done uh, four coasters, uh, but the one I really wanted to get on today uh, is still down. All right, even though Wildcats Revenge is still not open here, Revenge Beverage is there. And you know what? I usually don't drink, but right there, Parrot Bay Splash. I had to get one because uh, we know him. We love him. Jimmy Buffett, this is for you, buddy. The world lost a great one here, so this Parrot Bay Splash is for you. All right, so I'm usually a creature of habit. So I usually go down to the uh, Smokehouse, but with uh, Trailblazer closed today, a lot of other rides are too. I decided to try something a little bit different here, and I'm actually very happy with my choice here. I went to the, uh, right here, there's the Philly Cheesesteak Company on a roll, and you know what, yep, the price is a little high, but uh, you know, if you're looking for a cheesesteak, this actually was a pretty darn good cheesesteak. I like the fact that you can actually choose American cheese or Cheese Whiz. I am pro-American cheese, not a big Whiz fan here, but uh, this is definitely a great little uh, meal here. Uh, so I'm happy that I made this decision. It might be a uh, tradition coming soon. All right, we know this isn't a what's new here, but uh, they got rid of the um, Jolly Rancher uh, thing there, and they brought the Brickers guys here. Brickers has been a tradition at Hershey for years. I used to work at the Giant Center, and they used to be around all the time. So the fact that they gave them a prime location right by uh, Jolly Rancher Remix is nice. Uh, they used to be like all the way back by the Ferris wheel, which that whole section is kind of closed. So the fact that they got Brickers back right here, right in the main area, right off the main walkway. So they really are hooking up Brickers. Uh, but these guys are great. They're a tradition here in Central Pennsylvania. It's always great to see Central Pennsylvania people getting some love and not bring in the Nathans or those uh, horrible pizzas from uh, uh, Fajili and stuff like that. So yeah, definitely Brickers got a great location. They got fantastic fries. This is where you want to do, uh, go to get a great snack. So even though this isn't a what's new video, uh, I definitely wanted to highlight this. All right, guys, you know I'm honest here at the 125 Roller Coaster uh, Challenge here. And uh, the main reason I was looking forward to doing that uh, pass uh, the uh, fast pass that we got with the loyalty challenge was to marathon the heck out of Wildcast Revenge. But you know what? It's closed. It's been closed all day. I'm hoping to get on it by the end of the day. However, you know what? When uh, life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. And I got the fast pass. It is a hour wait. 
But you know what? I don't have to do the hour wait. I'm going to jump on Storm Runner and get a couple rides on that because that is one of my favorite launch coasters. And like I said, I was hoping to uh, marathon uh, Wildcast Revenge, but I can make do with uh, Storm Runner for a little bit here. And of course, who knows? I might even jump on the remix. All right. So when I was on uh, Jolly Ranch Remix there, I uh, noticed that a good old uh, Wildcast Revenge was testing. So I'm going to head that way real quick uh, and see what's going on there. But uh, if you're doing the coaster count there, we are uh, two Storm Runners and a Jolly Rancher. So uh, you figure out the math. I'm not going to tell you. We got to do a little bit of math here, but uh, two more Storm Runners and a Jolly Rancher remix. And we're going to head over and hopefully uh, Wildcast Revenge is going. Uh, actually, I did a flat ride. I did this ride too. Um, a lot of Six Flags parks are getting them. So I wanted to see what they are like. And I realized, not really for me. Uh, the worst part is when you actually have to unload and you're kind of hanging like these guys are. Uh, to me, I don't like wasting that much time at a park. But uh, pretty much I'm heading over to Wildcat. All right, we just got off our third ride on um, Wildcat's Revenge. And if you look at that queue line, you can definitely see that it was worth the fast pass today. So we also threw a Fahrenheit in there. So if you keep in track, make sure you add three Wildcat's Revenges and a Fahrenheit. So. Now I'm going to head over to the other side of the park here. I kind of feel bad because when you have a line like that and you just keep on walking through, I kind of feel bad. I mean, I just left myself in the locker and everything, which was kind of nice. But yet again, if people are waiting an hour to get on this ride, what is the wait time right now? Do they have a wait time? Uh, they do not have a wait time there, but it's got to be at least an hour. So definitely got lucky on that. But uh, at first, uh, the thing wasn't open, but... Uh, it would have been felt like a total waste if I uh, did not get a Wildcats Revenge and I had that fast pass. So, but uh, yep, so yet again, a Fahrenheit and three Wildcats. And I'm getting ready to head over to the uh, Great Bear section. So, um, anything else happens, I'll let you know. All right, on my way to Great Bear, you know what? I found the perfect item. This is going to be our giveaway. So, let me uh, get a little bit lighter here for you. Boom, 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 boom. So it is actually a wooden wildcat sign. So if you count all the coasters that we do today, not the different coasters, the total number of coasters, if you get that number right, that is what you're going to win. We'll mail that right out to you there. So uh, make sure you keep counting. Uh, we've been on a lot of different coasters and uh, we're not gonna give you the count. You're gonna have to figure that out yourself. So now we're over there. We're gonna be heading out towards the Great Bear section over here by the Play Dome right now. We're going to head out there, and uh, I'm going to use the uh, Fast Pass on a ride I always skip because it's always got a big line, but I love it, and that's a classic Comet. All right, it's been an hour since probably last time we did an update here, and right there's the line for Comet, and uh, thank God for this Fast Pass. I can honestly say that today would have been a wash of a day uh, if it wasn't for the Fast Pass, but um, add two Comet rides, one looper ride, and of course, you know, we had to do two rods on that bad boy right there, the Great Bear. So add that to your coaster count if you're counting it. But we got two on Great Bear, two on Comet, and one on the Looper. Uh, I am a little bummed though, uh, Trailblazer wasn't open. But uh, we're going to be heading towards the front of the park. Um, and we're going to see what we uh, see over there here. Gotta love that roar. If you haven't been to Hershey Park, gotta love that roar. Of course, you know the next coaster I got to jump on right now is uh, right here in front of me, the Rush of Sky. So uh, we'll let you know how many we get on that. But uh, as you can tell by the line here, uh, it's definitely a good day to have a Fast Pass. Um, now, would I have paid for it? Yeah, I'll let you know at the end of the video here. Now, of course, if you're this far along, uh, just make sure that you realize that you can like and subscribe to our channel. We've got live feeds going on now. We got tons of uh, different videos and the whole nine yards. So there goes that comment. That thing was flying today, by the way. But uh, once again, uh, definitely make sure you like and subscribe. And uh, we're heading towards the front of the park. We might get a couple more coasters. It's uh, been a great day. All right, let's be honest. Hershey Park is one large amusement park, but the fact that it's so quiet here by the Storm Rush area, not many people know this path, uh, which is great. I think throughout the year it was uh, kind of closed down here, but. As I'm moving to the front part of the park here, I just couldn't believe like you got all these ducks and swans right here. Right in the middle of this, yeah, you know, for lack of a better word, a little lagoon here. 
but the fact that it's so quiet here in the middle of an amusement park, it's actually nice. i uh, never been a big fan of the old, uh, oh, here comes Skyrush going up the hill. I've never been a big fan of Six Flags playing music. Sometimes it's nice just to be quiet and hear things. All right, here comes Skyrush. So you're probably sitting here thinking, well, why aren't you riding Skyrush and why are you uh, filming Skyrush? Well, you know what? Add three to the coaster count here. Skyrush has been ridden three times today. Because, of course, I always like to get sidetracked on my way, uh, go to the front of the park. I was walking out this way and then I noticed there's hardly a line. And then you figure if there's hardly a line, that goes double for the fast lane and I got three rides on it today, so that's great. But once again, can you believe how quiet it is here? There goes the Comet. I mean, this is just a beautiful part of the park. Um, so yeah, if you want to spend a day at the park, you know, usually I go to Knoebels. It's more peaceful and a lot of other parks, but this little area right here is pretty peaceful here at Hershey Park. All right, so I head back to the front of the park and we've been here for about five and a half hours, uh, which is a long day for me if it's not a new park. So the fact that I've been here that long today uh, shows you that that fast pass, which you can get right here at the HP Go, is definitely worth uh, uh, the thing, you know, the price. But the one thing you gotta realize is, I actually didn't pay for it. So I don't know if I would pay for it. I'd like to know if you would pay for it if you were coming to the park. Um, if you're a season pass holder, I don't see why you would do it. But if you're here for one day, I kind of suggest it because I've been on a lot of coasters. Uh, you guys have been keeping track. And you know what, I'm not gonna lie, that's probably in my future one more time. But you know what, I'm getting ready to head out. And if you're getting ready to head out, and you're here at Hershey Park, you pretty much gotta grab some kettle corn. It is the best uh, car treat on the way home. So I'll be grabbing some of this. All right, it's a couple hours later and we are heading out of Hershey Park. So we got here around 11 and I'm getting out of here a little bit after four o'clock. So a five hour day for me is huge. Uh, but if you're doing the coaster count there, we added two more candemoniums. So uh, I'm not gonna tell you how many, but the uh, coasters that we did today were uh, pretty much um, candemonium. We did Great Bear, we did Super Duper Looper, we did Comet, we did Fahrenheit, we did Jolly Rancher Remix, we did Storm Runner. We did uh, Lightning Racer, only one side was going, so we only got Lightning. And uh, what else did we do there? We also did Wild Mouse, we did Jolly Rancher Remix, and of course we did Wildcats Revenge, and we did a couple flat rides there. Uh, the uh, Jolly Rancher Remix, uh, that ride right in front there. Uh, of course I jumped on the carousel because that's great. Um, now, the reason we were able to hit so much today on such a busy day was because of the loyalty program. So thumbs up to Hershey for the loyalty program and the fact that they didn't black out dates because a lot of places will black out dates. They chose not to black out the holiday dates, which is fantastic. Um, so I was able to uh, hit as much as I could there. Now, do you guys do the uh, Fast Pass when you come to Hershey Park? Love to know in the comments section. I only really paid for it once or twice, so I'm not sure if I would do that, but um, I'm curious if other people have. Uh, also, uh, what's your favorite roller coaster here? I basically rode everything that was open. Uh, Trailblazer was down and a couple other things weren't quite open. Uh, it is the end of the year. The entire Midway American section was pretty much dead. Uh, pretty much everything was down the Musical Express and the whole nine yards. Uh, also, are you planning on coming to the Dark Knights? Uh, that should be starting really soon. And if you're new to the 125 Roller Coaster Challenge, uh, you know what? I would love it if you could subscribe. Uh, basically, it's a simple click for you, but it means a lot to us. And uh, we've been growing this channel. Uh, we're closing down 2,000 um, subscribers, and we're starting to do the live uh, podcast. So that whole nine yards. Uh, so if you are interested in what we do, definitely uh, consider subscribing. And once again, this is Paul125 Roller Coaster Challenge here at our home park, Hershey Park. Have yourself a great day.